All right, yeah, this is the last one for real. I had to give y'all this one because somebody in the comments that watch all the videos, well, not in the comments, but in my uh, Instagram DM, and that's how y'all too. Like, if y'all watch all the videos, y'all subscribe, y'all want me to talk about something, whether it's news, whether it's um just like general conversation, relationship stuff, sports, whatever it is, go to my Instagram. Go to my Instagram. Y'all should already know it's in the uh, it's in the YouTube description, but it's uh, the blueprint simple like everything else uh tiktok too tiktok is blueprint 03 but by the time you put blueprint in it'll pop up because i'm kind of lit on tiktok you feel me so uh uh what was i finna say yeah so when you establish when you establishing yourself in life like when you on your real ground when you on that when you young or even if you old even if you get it late in life you young when you on that initial grind you found your passion, you found your hustle, you fit whatever it is, you, you trying to establish who you are. Is it easier or harder to do that while you're in a relationship? And this, uh, this mostly for the fellas. And the reason I say that is because men, if you plan your role right, men are in a relationship are to provide and protect. And that's to provide like, you know, mental stability, emotional support, uh, physical, financial, everything. And if your man is doing that, a lot of that come to giving you that attention. A woman is main job is to receive a lot of that and to, and to hold it down like, like the love and stuff like that, the household. But if y'all, you know, if y'all both young, y'all ain't got no kids or if y'all older, y'all ain't got no kids or if the kids older and they not a factor no more, but y'all really trying to get at it. Is it like, I'm, I'm, I'm finding a lot of people feeling like it's hard to do that when you um in a relationship unless you're in a relationship with the right person because if y'all not on y'all grind together if they now it's different y'all both on y'all grind y'all both you know what I'm saying she trying to be a doctor he trying to be a lawyer or an entrepreneur they both gone they both working 12 hours going to school and they see each other it's love but they not they don't even have time to be really craving certain things from each other so it's like but if she on her grind and he not and she always gone then then it might be a, a, a certain feeling or if he on his grind and she not and he always gone or he always like and you know it could be friction and then, then sacrifices got to come into play. So do you sacrifice your grind? Do you sacrifice you trying to carve out your position in life for, for the for the ever? You know what I'm saying? Is the ever, I don't know if the ever is a phrase, but if it's not, y'all can say it, pick up what I'm putting down. But um, yeah, I, I, I see it in a lot of younger and older relationships that a lot of the time, like I said, like, I don't got too many homies. I'm trying to really think. One, two, maybe three homies and a and a and a couple of associates that have like careers. Like they've gone to school for things. They they're doing that field. They've been doing it. They go continue to do it, and that's what they do. It's still a a, a, punch, a clock punching type situation. Like they work for you know, they work for something, but they have careers. Everybody else, like, kind of work for themselves. They're entrepreneurs, whether it's musicians, chefs, um, artists, construction workers, business owners, real real estate, you know what I'm saying? Like, they they doing it they self. Like, so that grind does take a little bit more. So, like, if that's somebody you're dealing with, then it's probably going to be a situation where um, they go be having to move around a lot. They go have, so you, you like, like you could jump on board and kind of like include yourself in that grind, find your own thing. Or, or like I say, like a lot of times you got to figure, I, I feel like it's best to build before you get into a serious relationship. Like, you know, like that's easier said than done because we're human, but it's definitely easier to build because before you have kids, before you get into a relationship, because it's all about you. And at a certain time in life, it needs to be all about you. Like, you know what I'm saying? And trying to make it all about you in your 30s and your 40s and your 50s with someone, with a family, it ain't gonna never work. 
It ain't gonna never work and you never go, it's gonna be hard. I ain't gonna say never, it's gonna be harder to reach your peak because you never got, you never had that selfish time to just be like, all right, I'm finna put 110% into me and just me and, and just what I gotta do. So like, like I advise like my younger homies, like take, take heed of that, take heed of that and make sure that the partner you with is the part is a partner. Like, you know what I'm saying? A partner and, and vice versa. Like, like I said, same, same, same with the ladies, ladies, it's hard to build. It's hard to build when you gotta give half of you to someone. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, cause men require a lot of men. We require the affection. We, we acquire that support. We acquire, it's hard to support. It's, it's going to be hard to support your man a hundred percent. If you try, if you really just focus on what you got going on, you know what I'm saying? That's even like with this YouTube, like I tell people all the time, I'm not, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to support in the ways that I can support, but I'm not watching everybody's YouTube. Because it take a lot of time just coming up with the content, record, putting them up, promoting my own stuff. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna support. Yeah, I post some links. I'll do that. I'll do that. But you know, and if I become a fan, then yeah, now I'm watching. I got a few people that I watch every day. Like like I got literally like a handful of maybe like ten, more than a handful, probably like ten YouTube channels. Not necessarily one person. Like some of them are channels with multiple people on it. But I got about like 10 channels that I probably tap into every single day. Every single day. And um and I and I don't expect everybody to watch me every day. That's what my I expect people that enjoy watching these videos, like watching me to watch these every day. And like I said, looking at my views on these videos since I've been doing it, I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm well I ain't gonna say satisfied because I wouldn't be satisfied if it was getting millions of views every day. I still want more. But I know the work ain't going unnoticed, it ain't going unwatched, you know what I'm saying? I'm having fun, you know what I'm saying? I like doing it. I just, I like seeing the numbers myself and I like just knowing that with, I know, I don't, well, I personally, I do know some YouTubers, but most people I ask, I'm the only person they know that even put videos up every day that it got this many videos that, that do this, like whatever. And that's even like, even on the TikTok, like I know a couple TikTokers that are bigger than me, but but only a couple. Personally, I don't know no more. I, I see them. I see their videos of people that's way bigger than me. But and when I ask the people that I know personally, personally, I'm the biggest TikToker that they know. So that's cool with me now. And and just study elevating up. Like you know what I'm saying. And I appreciate y'all for that. Everybody that watch the 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 YouTubes, the the TikToks that follow me on all my other social media platforms. Man, I appreciate y'all. Subscribe, like, comment. Get at me later. Yeah.